Hello folks, Queen Rogue Kill Candy here, and today we're doing a box opening of Magic the Gathering, the Planeswalker board game with all these stuff and things on here. So let's get this open. I know that um, a lot of D&D &D players actually suggest buying this. Um, if you're playing the D&D &D, uh, Magic the Gathering game, because like you have all these figures in here. I think there's like 32 figures. Oh, hello, are you my assistant today? Yeah, it looks like this is my assistant. So we have a rule book here. Looks like it has all the stuff in it. The assistant has left. So there's all these figures, and they're really good. I haven't played this board game at all, obviously, yet, because this is just the initial box opening. But look at all these. And then, I don't know if you've seen, but D&D has started selling, like, the characters... Right? I think uh, it's like $7 per character. So it's a pretty good deal just to get um, this board game, even if you're not going to use it for the board game. So before we take a look at the cards it comes with, let's see. So there's terrain here. I know some people have painted the terrain that have gotten this game, but a lot of people just, again, they got it for D&D. Here are the dice came with. It is a used copy. So, I mean, you know, everything's going to be punched out. And it's actually a really nice. It's got the toughness markers and everything. Like, you could even use that in normal magic. Got a d20 in here, tokens, as I dump out some of the tokens. Hang on, i got to put those back. All right, so we're moving the bag of tokens over here with the dice and everything. There's a bunch of... There's this. There's long cards. I'm going to guess that each of these comes with a planeswalker. Yep. So we are going to take a look at these cards. Looks like monsters each of the characters get. Oh, Jay says a lot. Kind of interesting that they have these long cards. Then we have. Oh, nice. Nice. So I guess each planeswalker gets this. That's awesome. Oh yeah. So I have no idea how this game works. Never played it. I will figure it out though eventually and post it. Last thing is We're gonna look at these cards. Hang on. All right, now that I got the pony off, we can flip through these cards. Well, they're actual like Magic the Gathering cards, but with different art. That's cool. So I would assume each planeswalker needs. Their specific color or specific deck. Again, don't know because I have not read the rules, but I would assume since it would be really weird otherwise. And everyone strongly suggests, like I said again, the figures are amazing in this and you get 32 of them. Bases are slightly off for D and D, but that's fine. I mean, a lot of people are selling these used. Uh, I heard some uh, places in the states actually their dollar stores had these for a bit. So you might have got lucky and got one of these and then tried it and been like, nah. But uh, yeah, the 
the minis are super good. Unpainted, as you saw, most of them excluding the heroes, but you can easily paint them up. You're gonna wanna watch a guide though on how to paint those if you're not familiar with how to paint them because there's a lot of things like, there's this one guy that bought like a special kind of basket thing for a washing machine instead of like actually scrubbing them in like lukewarm water with a toothbrush type thing going on. Uh, and then, you know, you're gonna prime it, you know, all that kind of stuff, then paint it. And there's about how to paint it good paints for it, all that kind of stuff, so, you never know, whoop, whoop, as that card gets away, I always love the art of these, one day I wish I could get good enough to make a Magic the Gathering art, or D&D &D art, just love that. Probably would be better at doing like a grotesque monster or a horror. I'm pretty good at drawing the horrors. But yeah, that's everything that comes in here. Let's take a closer look though at some of these. Because you're going to notice if I can get it out. Their bases are a little bit bigger than D&D. &D, but if you look at just the center part, then it's fine. And the paint job's not the greatest. Some people have touched it up. Close and look. Well, that's okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications, and we'll catch you next time.